Hi, I'm Ranger Sam, and today we're gonna to go on a walk to find some things in nature that we have not only here in our parks, but also some things we can find in our backyard and in our neighborhood. So here we have some hairy bittercress. This is a wildflower that we can find growing all over our yards, and as we can see here in grassy and sometimes shaded areas. The hairy bittercress is easy to identify by its white flowers and its seed pods that appear to be growing above the flowers. These seed pods almost look like branches, but they're actually filled with seeds, and when they're ready to drop their seeds, even a gentle touch will allow the seed pods to break open and spread their seed. Another plant that we can find in our yards and here in our parks are mosses. So moss was one of the first plants to grow on planet Earth. So this is one of the most ancient plant species that we can find. There are thousands and thousands of different species of moss. And even in a small patch like this, we could see 10 to 20 different species. So if you're looking for moss, the best place to find it is somewhere that's in the shade, like we have on the side of this tree, and in a moist area. So moss really likes shade and it really likes wet areas. If you're walking down the sidewalk in your neighborhood, a good place to look for moss would be on the side of a wall that doesn't get a lot of sunlight. Something else that we can often find growing on the sides of trees and sometimes rocks is called lichen. And here on this tree, we can see a few different species. There are thousands and thousands of species of lichen. And lichen is a mix between algae and fungus. And the way that I remember that is Allie Algae and Freddy Fungus had a lichen for each other. A lot of times people think lichen is damaging to a tree. If you don't know what it is, it can look like it's actually maybe a fungal disease or something wrong with the tree. But lichen and trees live harmonious together and the lichen's not doing any damage. Something else that I'm sure a lot of us are familiar with are dandelions. The name dandelion actually comes from a French word, dent de lion, which means lion's tooth. So, Dandelions often get a bad rep for being something that is considered a weed, but they're actually really helpful in the ecosystem. So they're a food source for a lot of different animals. Insects will feed on the nectar and in turn will help with pollination. And some species of birds like a goldfinch actually feed on the seeds whenever the dandelion goes to seed. So what is considered a weed to a lot of people is something that in nature is actually really helpful. Next time you're in your yard or on a walk through your neighborhood, I encourage you to take a closer look at your surroundings and you'll find that nature is everywhere.